That's Doug. Doug. The one that wants to fight you. <laughs> Good morning everybody first week of april and what a way to start the vlog we are in horse pens 40 in alabama been climbing since friday yesterday we have like a crazy rain and we didn't stay sleeping at the town we sleep in the jeep so middle of rock climbing trip <laughs> we're stuck in the jeep uh there's a storm going outside and we decided just to we're gonna spend the night in the jeep <laughs> This is the first time that can So that's why I look like I just woke up. I got up early just to take up some time left. So let's see what Leslie's doing. We've been having so much fun for the last few days. Dude, everything is close by. Like here is the store. Here is the boulders. That's my car. Hello. Oh. Good morning. Good morning. Ooh, we're gonna have we're gonna have some nice breakfast. We're going for a good breakfast. <laughs> Can I get mine a scramble, please? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be scrambled. Thank you. Scramble eggs are the best. <laughs> Your breakfast? It's pretty good. All right, breakfast is ready. We're ready to go climbing, but we met the guy, like the owner of Horse Pants 40. Mike something. Mike something, yeah. He told us everything about this place. He really loved this place. So it's a preservation. That's yeah, it's a preservation. And it's like 30 unknown species. <laughs> yeah, from all the things that he told us, he told Leslie that they have here a raccoon as a pet. Okay, so Leslie went to see it yesterday and she came out back all like, dude, you gotta see this raccoon, this raccoon is amazing. So, we're going there right now. Let's go. <laughs> Hi, Ruth, wave to us. So one of the things that this place has that is so awesome is like it also has showers like right over there. We arrive here on Friday night or you can say a Saturday at 2 a.m. in the morning. My last shower was on Friday on Tampa. We're fully embracing the climbing, <laughs> the climbing ideals like we're just a dirtbags this weekend. Okay, we, we have food, everybody had breakfast. Let's go climbing. We're just gonna go climbing for a little bit. Today is our last day, but, and plus we were climbing like yesterday till pretty late. So today we're just gonna show you what it, what it is kind of like climbing here and just to keep it for our memories, so. The thing is like we don't know how much we're gonna be able to climb today. Yesterday it rained till like 2 a.m. so the rocks are pretty like wet but I think we can find ones that we can climb. We got the official guidebook we're using to you know, figure out things, where to go, what's going on. First of all we met Mike yesterday this guy's crazy awesome <laughs> to tell us about routes around the area which boulders to go to so we can actually climb and uh, we use the route method so we mainly the green ones are the ones we're climbing today right now 
or climbing number 19 and number 18 on the route here. So we're gonna give them a try. Here we go. <laughs> Climbing outside is always like such a humbling experience. Like you go to the gym, you're climbing, breathe three, you're started to climb in before, you're feeling good about yourself. Then you go outside and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna climb like all of these big trees. It looks so awesome. You cannot even send a B0. You just gotta keep trying. That's a B1, but that's a slab. Like, you basically don't have any holes at all. So it's more like friction dependent. It's really scary. So that one will be for our next trip. We will send that our next trip. Right? For sure. For sure. Okay, so with that done, it's time for us to pack up and go back to Tampa. So I tied about a 10 hour drive. I feel like a true rock climber. Yeah. That's because you are Grim. You are a rock climber.